The action is the latest skirmish in an all-out war that has raged between the rival industries for several months. Oil ads remind the public their local dealer is a small businessman who hung in there keeping that tank full despite shortages and OPEX price gains. They boast of the efficiency of modern oil heaters. Gas ads warn of increasing supply and cost problems with oil while claiming a rosy tomorrow for their own product. They encourage the listener to switch to what they bill as the efficient, more secure energy source of the future. It's that sort of talk that really Riles oil spokesmen who say FTC and Energy Department studies show their fuel is 17 percent more efficient and that both face eventual supply and price changes. No question about that and, and the figures haven't been able to be disputed by the American Gas Association but uh, what we feel is really most short-sighted about their approach is that conservation is the real answer to the energy problem not uh, conversion. Uh, the customer who can tighten up his house plug the leaks in it, get more efficient operation out of his equipment, will save him dollars and will save him energy, which is in his interest, our interest, and the nation's interest. The Cure says he doesn't mind the gas industries attempting to protect their market. His people are determined to do the same. But when someone tries to slice into his and with information he feels is downright false, he's ready to fight. The Oil Jobbers Council has asked the FTC to order the Gas Association to cease and desist their current advertising and even pay for corrective ads. Whatever the decision reached by the federal regulatory agency, it is likely to take several weeks or even months. In the meantime, no one really expects either side to soften their commercials. Martha Graham, Area 10 Eyewitness News.